Uh, but uh, I want to share this with you, actually, because uh, anyone with a dog or a cat will know that pets have their own personality. Uh, your cat, what sort of personality has he got, Al? Oh, he's full of personality. You know exactly what humour he's in, what he wants. But he's very mischievous, actually. He's kind of a... I would say he's got a good sense of humour, to be honest. He's not a grumpy puss or anything like that. He's there a, you go. a cat with a sense of humour. Te- yeah, a cat with a sense of humour, yeah. yeah. Now, but uh, those folk at Oxford University have not been studying Al's cat or my dog. Uh, researchers uh, at the uni have uh, been observing birds at Whiteham Woods in Oxfordshire uh, say that uh, birds have personalities and believe these differences can even affect where they nest. Really? Katerina Johnson has been leading the project. This is fascinating, Katerina. How on earth do you go about assessing a bird's personality? Take it away. Yeah, so, um, you know, some people might think of personality as something that's, you know, largely unique to humans. I mean, after all, it's got the word person in. Um, But actually, just like us, you know, different individuals in an animal population show variation in how they behave. Um, So we basically take great tips from the wild and we introduce them to a novel environment. Um, And this is a room that has various perches in it. Um, And we record things like how much time they spend flying and how many different areas of the room they visit. Um, And then based on these measurements, um, statistically, we can assign each bird a score along the spectrum from shy to bold. Um, And so so so-called shy birds tend to sort of stay in one place and be quite cautious, whereas the bold birds are much keener to explore their new surroundings. Is it a male-female thing? I imagine that the the male birds are bolder, aren't they? Um, Well, both males and females do show variation along along this spectrum. Um, I mean, we were particularly um, interested in in the male bird's personality because we found that um, it was the males that were picky about personalities. So during the breeding season, um, when they choose where to nest, Um, male great tits tended to nest near others of similar personality. I mean, this is probably because um, there's heightened aggression at this time, and in particular the males are trying to defend their territories, um, and also they're competing to mate with the females as well. Right, so birds have different personalities. Okay, and it it makes a a fascinating conversation. I I would cheerfully sit next to you at a party, Katerina, and discuss this, but why on earth are you studying birds' personalities? What, What use is this work? Um, Yes, so um, our findings have some sort of really interesting evolutionary implications. So sort of answering the big questions like, you know, why does personality even exist at all? You know, why isn't it that there's one optimal personality type that's favoured by natural selection and, you know, generally does well under most circumstances? Um, And we know um, that particular sort of ecological conditions may favour one personality. So bold birds tend to be risk takers, so they might do better when food is in short supply. But shy birds sort of um, are more cautious, so they tend to do better if there's lots of predators around. Um, But our research sort of adds to this by suggesting that perhaps also our social environment um, and who we choose to interact with may also influence how well we do. And in the case of birds, um, have an effect on, you know, how many eggs they lay and ultimately, um, you know, passing your genes on to the next generation. And, and I think this still rings true with humans, um, you know, as our social network can really influence our lives in many ways. Katrina, it's absolutely fascinating. Thank you for sharing it with us as well. Katrina Johnson, who's been leading that project into the study 